The Successful Servant Leader Podcast is all about the pioneer woman on her unique journey of becoming and being who God has called her to be. The divine connection between the wealth mindset and success in every area of our lives can no longer be denied. Successful Servant Leader teaches us how to increase our confidence and strategically and effectively serve while in the pursuit of success in our lives, our faith, and our businesses. I'm your host, Victoria Grace, and welcome to the show. Hey family, welcome to this episode of the Successful Servant Leader Podcast. It is the last episode of 2022. I can't believe, number one, that we are already at the end of this year, but I also just am so excited and so grateful for all the things that God has done for us in this business and within this community since the beginning of this year. Since I won't talk to you guys again until 2023, P.S., that's next Monday, (laughs) I wanted to just spill a little bit of tea and share some statistics with you guys before we get into today's episode. First things first, and this is piping hot, okay? This is piping hot. I need you guys to know and understand that our weekly power prayer call that has been going on since 2019 is still going on every single Wednesday. You can access all of the information to join us every Wednesday, 6.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, as well as other time zones. All of that information is in the show notes. And if you're inside of our free Dare to Pursue community, shameless plug, the link to join us is in the show notes. You have access to the community event planner where you will get notifications, all of that good stuff, as well as that access information to join us every single Wednesday. Again, the replays are not posted inside of our free community, but they are posted inside of our paid membership, The Inner Circle. Number two, what I have to share, y'all, this is piping hop as well. When you listen to the episode that you're about to listen to, remember I said I'm going to play for you guys the most played episode of 2022. You're going to hear me talk about a freebie and I'm not taking it out of the episode. I'm just going to leave it as is because it's important to the content of the episode, but you're going to hear me talk about a freebie. And unfortunately that freebie is not available anymore. However, there is a freebie still available to you directly in alignment with this episode. And that is our master your mind audio class. I've been talking about it since the summertime. I didn't launch it until September. And since launching, I've talked to so many different people and they've shared how much it has really helped them and their mindset so that they can get into alignment with the way that God has called them to pursue. And I just love hearing those types of testimonials. But that is available to you guys in the show notes. All you have to do is join our free Dare to Pursue community. It is available to everybody who joins. You don't have to do anything extra. You don't have to sign up somewhere else, submit your information anywhere else. All you have to do is click the link in the show notes, join Dare to Pursue, and you will see in your welcome checklist, your Master Your Mind audio class. Master Your Mind is a 60-minute audio training where we really focus on exposing your enemy and leveling up your thinking. We understand the importance here inside of this community of exposing our enemy, okay? Because I talk about it all the time. God cannot heal what we refuse to reveal and what we refuse to believe is actually real, okay? And we need to level up our thinking as Christian entrepreneurs, as Christian MVPs, as Christian servant leaders, as moms, as wives, as people who work a nine to five. We need to level up our thinking. And when we do that, it allows us to live a life of wealth and turn that clarity that we now have into action and execution. And so this is my way of investing in my community by creating this free audio class that is truly life changing. So I hope that you get your copy by joining our free community, Dare to Pursue. Again, the link is available in the show notes. 
Last but certainly not least, this is the hottest tea of all. I have to share these statistics with you guys because let me tell you, 2022 is not the year to be played with, okay? 2022, successful serving leader said she was showing up and she was showing out and the statistics prove it, okay? First things first, successful servant leader is all over the globe, y'all. All over the globe, okay? Our top three, I want to share with y'all the top 20, okay? Because some of these places, yes, I've heard of, but I'm just like, okay, like, come on, God, you know what I'm saying? I always talk about speaking to the masses and things like that and to to be international. But when your podcast hits places other than the United States, it's just mind blowing. But the top three countries are the United States, Canada and Germany. Like shout out to Canada. Shout out to those in Germany. Like, come on now. And I only took this. I only took this content, this these statistics from the year of 2022, January 1st to December 26, 2022. Okay. So top three countries, US, Canada, and Germany, but we also have India, Australia, Brazil, United Kingdom, the Philippines, South Africa, the Netherlands, Zimbabwe, Croatia, Ches- Chesica, I hope I'm saying it right, Denmark, Ecuador, Finland, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Ireland, and Mexico. These are the top 20 countries. I had to, I had to say them. I'm sorry. I had to say them. Like, I'm so excited. I, I, I just, I cannot. And then we have our top cities, you guys. The top cities. I'm like, shout out to Houston. Shout out to Chicago. Like, what's up, y'all? Okay. Shout out to Las Vegas. Okay. Like we have people all over the place. Some of these places I've never heard of. Dallas is also on the list. You know, they're not the top and that's okay. That's okay. But we have Austin. We have some other places here in Texas, but we have Orlando. I don't know. We're not Knoxville. I'm assuming that's Tennessee. Muskegon. I know there's a Muskegon in Michigan. It doesn't tell me the state. It just tells me the city, but shout out to Houston and Chicago. You guys are in the top five and I'm just so grateful. I'm just so grateful to God and the the most piping hot tea of all about this. I actually pulled up a percentage calculator (laughs) and I did the percentage and the math myself. And I didn't even realize that my analytics told me the same percentage. But over the last 360 days, specifically January 1st, 2022 to December 26, 2022, of all the episodes, right? Of all the episodes, 62% of listens and downloads have come from this year, which means we've grown by 62% over the last year. I'm just, hey, hey, hey to all of our new people. Hey, hey, hey to all of our OGs. I'm just ecstatic. And that's the joy I want to leave you with going into 2023, that you are a part of a community that is growing, that I know God's hand is on. And I hope that you can see that God's hand is on. So just going through these numbers and these statistics and these locations and where people actually listen from, you know, desktop, mobile, tablet, Amazon Music, Apple, Facebook, you know, all the things, iHeart. It's just such a blessing to be able to see and actually have a tangible look at those things, right? So let's go ahead and get into this final episode of 2022. Now, this episode was actually recorded on October 4th, 2021, okay? Now, I just said I'm going to give you guys the most played episode of this year. And even though it was recorded October 4th of 2021, it is the most played episode of 2022. It is at the top of the list. Okay. It's at the top of the list. And the episode is titled Anchor Prayers. And so if you want to go back, just scroll down. It was episode 41. 
Okay, just scroll down to episode 41 or go to October 4th, 2021, if you want to actually hear it in its entirety, in its rawness, as it was when I first put it out. We had a completely different intro song, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, it's a beauty to be able to go back and listen to these things and see how much I've grown and how much I've done and what I've talked about. But the fact that this episode is still very much relevant right here, right now, going into 2023. I don't think it was by coincidence and I do believe that it is something that God wants you guys to hear, meditate on, apply to your life, okay? Apply to your life going into this next season, transitioning into this next season. It's going to be imperative that you have anchor prayers. So with that being said, I love you guys so much. Again, I will talk to you live in our next episode next week. And here is episode 41, Anchor Prayers. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Successful Servant Leader Podcast. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back if you are a returning subscriber or a listener and welcome if you are a new subscriber or a listener. Welcome to this podcast. Over here on this podcast, we are all things, all things becoming successful servant leaders. We are all about faith family, a luxurious black girl or whoever you are, lifestyle. We are all of these things, um, but most importantly, we are just working as hard as we can to be successful servant leader in our everyday lives as mothers, wives, as single women, as sisters, aunts, daughters, all of these things. So Welcome to this podcast. I'm so happy that you're here today. We have something just really quick that I want to share with you guys, and it's actually at the link in the show notes. I have a freebie for you guys, and it is all about daily mindfulness exercises. And now I'm not going to go over all of the exercises in the freebie. But I do want to go over one very important one because I think that even if you decide not to get this freebie and you're just a listener of the show and you don't care about anything else we have going outside of this podcast, I think you still need this information because if you're anything like me, you may have been raised or maybe you feel as though... You know, you can't really show weakness. Maybe you hold things in until the last possible moment, right? Like things that you're feeling or things that you may be going through. Maybe you're the strong one, right? Maybe people don't really check in on you too much because you're the strong one. You're the one everybody comes to. Um, And maybe sometimes you need to be checked in on, right? Maybe sometimes you do need somebody to maybe just be like, are you okay? And then you have that opportunity to go ahead and cry or scream or let it out. And even if you decide to scream or let it out by yourself or just when you're with God or you're in your car, like I have on multiple occasions, then you're going to understand where I'm coming from when I tell you, you need anchor prayers. You need anchor prayers in your life. And not only do you need anchor prayers, you need to learn how to breathe. Yes, you need to learn how to breathe. Let's take a moment right now and just breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. How did that make you feel? I hope it made you feel better. Even if you had nothing to feel bad about, I hope that it helped you to feel better. Because like I said, if you're anything like me, you probably don't take too many times or too many moments throughout your day to just breathe, to just bask in the beauty of holiness, the beauty of God's creation, the beauty of the space that God has you in right now. Regardless of if it looks like exactly what you want it to look like by this age or by this point in your life, regardless. And that's something that I had to learn is imperative. Okay. Imperative to 
truly stay self-aware. Remember, we talked about the importance of self-awareness in past episodes, but to truly stay self-aware and mindful, mindful. And so I kind of spilled the tea a little bit early because I was so excited to tell you guys that we have a freebie, (laughs) but the today's tea is that yes, we have a freebie available in the show notes for you guys. I am so excited to be releasing my one shooter daily mindfulness exercises for servant leaders. Yes, because y'all know I want y'all to be successful in everything that you do. I want you to have an abundance of wealth, not just financially, but spiritually, mentally, and emotionally as well, because you can have the best business out here. You can be at the top of your class. You can be that in your career, okay? You could be all of these things, but lack the skills that you need to be self-aware, lack the skills that you need to be mindful, and lack the tools and the skills that you need to have a confident and successful mindset that's rooted in Christ. And for us Christians, um, it's something that we need every single day, like every single day, I cannot go a day without at least spending some time with God. And when I do, I pay for it mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Because this world is so, 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 so heavy. There's so many things going on. And that's what we need to stay rooted. We need the word of God. We need time with the Holy Spirit. We need these things. And so let's get into anchor prayers. I just want to do a quick dissection, and I'm sure we all know what an anchor is, right? An anchor is a heavy object attached to a rope or chain and used to moor a vessel to the bottom of the sea. Now, if you're not a sailor, that probably is like, okay, Victoria, what the heck is you talking about? Now, I want to go to this other definition, and I think that it is perfect. So another definition that I see over here, it says... An anchor is a device normally made of metal used to secure a vessel. Key words here. Used to secure a vessel to the bed of a body of water to prevent the craft from drifting due to wind or current. I want to go back to used to secure a vessel. Your body, our bodies are vessels for God. We are are vessels for God as servant leaders. So for me, having something that is anchored in my life, something that is rooted, something that is so strong, made of metal or titanium or whatever the strongest substance is that can help me get myself back when anxiety wants to take over. When I have no idea what to do, when things are just going wrong, I want to have something that can anchor me. And I like to use anchor prayers. And I'll tell a quick story. Here recently, God is just so good. But here recently, I just finished something very important on my journey to becoming um, licensed. It's Obviously, you guys, if you've ever had to be licensed for anything, you know that there are steps and I just completed a very important step in that process. And I was very, very nervous about completing it. The people who were supposed to be giving me the okay that I passed this step took y'all 10 days, 10 days to get back to me. And I could not breathe for those 10 days. I definitely probably went through a spout of some type of depression and definitely anxiety was taking over my life. (laughs) Not only for those 10 days after I had submitted the thing that I needed to submit, but also even before then, because I had submitted this thing one time before and it was denied. I submitted it one time before it was denied. This was my second time submitting it. I knew, I knew this was flawless. I knew that there was no way that they could deny me. But 
the spirit of anxiety, the spirit of doubt, the spirit of the enemy really tried to take hold of my mind thinking, oh, they're going to deny me on some type of technicality. They're going to know it was my second time. So maybe they're going to think I didn't do a good enough job. All of these things you guys were going through my mind consistently. I was in a bad mood. I was very short tempered. I was not Victoria. Let's just keep it real. And so eventually I had to take note of that. I was like, okay, this is not normal. I need to snap out of this. I have to snap out of this for my son, for my husband, for everybody in the successful servant leader community. I have to snap out of this and I have to figure out how to snap out of this. Like, God, I know the how is going to come from you, but I need you to give it to me now. I need you to give it to me now so that I can move forward, regardless of if they come back with a pass or fail. I need you your help now and anchor prayers came up so one day I was just letting my mind get the best of me sitting there trying to make dinner and my husband he I think he he knew what was going on he knew that I was waiting for the results of this thing to come back and he started to just rub my shoulders and you guys I just kind of broke down I talked to him And I was just like, okay, that felt good to kind of let it out. But even after he kind of left, I continued to cook. And then I noticed I was having shortness of breath. I noticed that I could not change what was going through my mind. Like I just could not change the thoughts. I turned on music. I turned on a show. I just could not change the thoughts. And I just started to say, Lord, I trust you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I know the plans that you have for me are for good and not evil. Lord, I know that you are my rock and my fortress. Lord, I know that you know what's best for me. So whatever is best for me is going to happen with this thing. Lord, I give you this burden because I know that it's not my burden to carry. Now, I don't know exactly what I said during that time. I really can't remember But I know that I started to say those anchor prayers. I just, something in me, Holy Spirit, just started to bring scriptures, short, very, very short phrases, just two to three word phrases. And I started to calm down. This happened to me on three different occasions before I finally got the results back that (laughs) your girl passed, okay, (laughs) which I already knew I was going to pass. God had already revealed it to me like this was the time. This is my time for it. But because of the enemy running down his little resume to me and his checklist to me in my head every single day and how he can grab on the technicalities and how he can do this and he can do that. I didn't allow the Holy Spirit to let me stay grounded and rooted. I decided to listen to everything that the enemy was telling me. And so I went through that bout of allowing anxiety to take over my life. And I did say a spout of maybe depression as well, because for a minute there, I was not even speaking on anything that I was experiencing because I didn't want to let that go in the atmosphere. But I realized that, yes, we do have to watch our language. Yes, we have to watch the things that come out of our mouths. However, The enemy's greatest trick is to make us think that it's okay to whatever happens in this house stays in this house. Or I don't need to tell anybody about that because I'm supposed to be the strong one. I'm supposed to be the one who is the the starter or the leader of this successful servant leader community. And how can I show any signs of weakness? How can I share this with them? And God revealed to me that he can't heal. He can't take control of anything I don't want to reveal, of anything I don't want to give over to him, of anything I'm too afraid to talk about because of what somebody may think or what somebody may feel or how they may react to that thing. 
And I say it was a spout of depression because I couldn't get out the bed some days. I just would lay there. You know, I would do my wifely duties and my motherly duties at home and I would do the bare minimum for work. But otherwise, I couldn't get out the bed. I couldn't really eat. I didn't really have much of an appetite. And I'm putting a name depression to that behavior because I wanted to know that that's not my portion. I wanted to know that that's not what God has for my life. So that may seem very, very mild. And I know that people are going through way more major spouts of depression and they're not even spouts. They're recurring. It's something that they, they are really struggling with. But for me, I go through spouts of depression when things happen in my life and I had to look back on my life (laughs) and my behavior and things that I've gone through and be like, okay, this is a recurring thing. It happens when this happens. It, it rises up or this anxiety comes or the feeling of I can't get out the bed or I'm just in the bed watching TV all day or I'm just here and I can't really think about anything else. It happens when things like this happens. And so I really wanted to come on today and just let you know that it's okay to breathe. It is okay to breathe. You may be everything for everyone, but you can't be everything for everyone if you don't take time to be everything that you can for yourself as well. If you don't take time or just take a moment to allow Holy Spirit to replenish you. If you don't allow yourself to make mistakes. If you don't allow yourself to be forgiven, it's okay to breathe. And when those times do come up, that anxiety is taking over, depression is taking over, sadness is taking over, worry is taking over, doubt is taking over, frustration is taking over. You take a moment, you ask Holy Spirit right now, Father God, every time This takes over my life because you know you, I don't know you, but whatever it is that you go through, identify that thing, call it out for what it is, rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Let it know that it is not your portion. It is not a part of the plan that God has for your life. And you ask Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, every time this tries to take control, every time my flesh is losing, every time my spirit feels like it's losing. Please, God, allow these anchor prayers to come back to mind. I trust you. You are my rock, my fortress. I need you. You know what's best for me. Trust, lean. Thank you, Jesus, whatever it is for you. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Like I said, if you want this one sheeter of daily mindfulness exercises for servant leaders that I use, please go ahead and click that link in the show notes and you will not be disappointed. Share this with somebody else who may need this encouragement today. Share this with somebody else who you know, maybe they go through little bits and little pieces there of anxiety, or they just don't realize it, but you've seen them in action. Or maybe their behavior is erratic or sporadic, whatever the case is. Because even if you go through spouts of anger, right? Anger, these can help you as well. Daily mindfulness exercises um, and reference links and all of the above that you need to just help you be the best you you can be, to help you be the successful servant leader you were called to be. And so that's all I have for you guys today. I love you so much and I will see you in the next episode of the Successful Servant Leader Podcast.